Welcome to Hotline TV. I'm Tim Saad. And I'm Quinn McCord. Yep. It's the new year after a big election, the time when many politicians start to feel changes. This is the time when House members start to feel like it's time to put on the big boy pants and run for the Senate. <laughs> Tim, first off, yep. are you ready to put on the big boy pants? And secondly, can you tell me if there are any House members who are currently looking to move up to the upper body? Forgive me if I forgot the question originally. Are there any House members going to run? Yeah. Tell me yeah. about these House members. Uh, first, we're going to talk, we're going to skip all of your Nonsense. extra layers, and I'm just going to talk about Ohio. Ohio. Uh, and Tim Ryan, congressman um, from the eastern part of the state, Youngstown, um, uh, took over for Jim Traficant. Yes. Very interesting situation. Situation. Who just got out of jail. I think I read that Traficant just got out of jail. And the toupee? Right? Yes. And it was, they both it was, escaped. Who knew it was a toupee? That's but the, the thing about Ryan, but, though, is yeah. he'd have to give up a really safe seat. A very safe. Very safe. Republicans have no Republicans have no have chance no, there. Have, and, and no bench, either. But I mean, for him personally. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's a big risk. That's yeah. a huge risk. I mean, but other than that, there are no other Sitting house. seriously considering House members. I think, I think Zach Space is probably the one. The, if there was one that goes, it's him. Yeah. Um, now, Zach Space... Um, who was elected as somewhat of a fluke in 2006? Yes. Um, uh, who uh, you know ran against Bob Ney and then Bob Ney dropped out and got a, Republicans got a placeholder for him. Everyone thought this guy's going to last one cycle and that's it. Well, guess what? He won Next re base is back. Uh, and you know, conservative Democrat looking pretty strong. He'd be. I mean, he would also be giving up. I think that seat is safely in his column. I think Republicans are going to have a hard time to get that pulled yeah. that away from him. He'd also be giving up a pretty pretty sure bet. For a very chance, and if and if if Tim Ryan gets out, that field don't you think would would seem to be sort of a maybe not second tier, but but it would be much more crowded at that point. I think it would be even a, a harder chance for him to survive that Senate primary. Yeah, one assumes that the Lieutenant Governor Lee Fisher yeah. and Tim Ryan would not primary each other; mm -hmm. they would work it out. But because um, because because Rob Portman, former House member, seems to have the Ohio the Republican field to himself. That's right. I assume that stays the case, mm -hmm. kind of looking that way, but. Uh, another very safe House member who might be taking a gamble is Kendrick Meek in Florida. In Florida. No one really saw this coming until this week. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's talking about you know, Alex Sink. Um, or even Alan Boyd, um, yeah. who gets a lot of mention. But yeah, Kendrick Meek sort of... I, do you think, though, he sort of uh, jumped the gun and tried to preempt a lot of these well, other... Well, he knew, he knew that you know, he, he was not going to be able to sort of clear the field. Yeah. And he knew that he couldn't afford to wait for other people to run. Um, because people would already sort of you know, jump on the Alex Sink bank mm -hmm. bandwagon, so he has to run. But, you know, I mean, obviously, even in Florida, African-American support is very important in a Democratic primary. It seems like he has some of the Clinton support. Now, who, who's not going to support him, of course, is Emily's List, because, you know, they're going to meet for Alex Sink. And even, you know, the, the DSCC, you know, I don't think they would formally endorse, but they might sort of steer donors towards Sink like mm -hmm. they sometimes do. Would that cause a problem, though, in the... Would that cause a problem um, with African American voters feeling uh, sort of uh, disenfranchised from the process? You, you know, you're right about that because the, the DSCC was pretty careful to stay out of the um, the Mfume Ben Cardin primary yes, in 2006. Yes. Even informally, I think they're like, we do not want to enter this this mess. But um, to a fault, some considered. Yeah, although you know, luckily, you know, Ben Cardin won that's anyways. Right, that's right. Um, but uh, yeah, but are any Republican House members thinking you're running? I mean, like you know, Vern Buchanan. Vern Buchanan is is a name that all, often gets mentioned. Yeah, I mean, he is he is just uh, he has tons of money. He could make a problem. He could make a primary very messy. Although I think most Republicans doubt he'll get in. And, and, and it's very fitting that he represents Catherine Harris's seat, since of course, as you already know, the, the NRC was yeah. not really happy to get Catherine Harris, and they were really trying to discourage her from running both times. Connie Mack's another name. Um, we'll see what he does. Tried to live off his name ID. And uh, finally, Missouri, um, you know, it seems like it's going to be, well, you know, Lacey Clay has talked, has mentioned yes, he's he interested, but maybe mm -hmm. very casually just kind of sort of seeing the groundwork. But most people are talking about, you know, Robin Carmahan. Robin Carmahan. Yeah. Um, how about the Republicans? There's no Republican, I don't think, that's looking at this race um, seriously. We're Roy Blunt, isn't he? Oh, Roy Blunt, I'm sorry. Yeah, Roy yeah, Blunt. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Roy Blunt is, is definitely. And polls show that he's, he's a clear leader at this point. Uh, or he, Republicans, he'd be the strongest Republican at this point against Carnahan. Still way too early. Yes, I still wonder if the blunt name is tainted at that's, all. That's but, right. but we'll see. I mean, you know, he, he can fundraise. He's from a, he, he'd certainly be favored in primary, I think, given his part. And of course, there's Jim Talent, who could run too. Jim Talent, yeah. But, uh, oh, I love this Senate news. So much fun. But that's all the time we have today on Hotline TV, and I'm Quinn McCord. And I'm Tim Sod. Thanks for watching Hotline TV.